A while back, I met a man whose hands shook so badly he could no longer write a note to his wife or drink a coffee with a friend. He had a severe form of a disorder called essential tremor and had just learned he was not a candidate for the brain surgery that could help him. He was desperate. His case stuck with me. As a neuroscientist and engineer, I was captivated by the circuitry connecting his brain dysfunction to his hand tremor. The surgical approach would have implanted a deep brain stimulator in, uh, deep in his brain. And I wondered, might it be possible to reverse engineer that circuit? Might it be possible to relieve his symptoms without surgery, without drugs, using body-worn electronics? So we started experimenting. And with time and hard work, we started seeing some patients respond dramatically. We saw the potential to restore his ability to write that note or drink that cup. So what made this possible? What made the idea of reframing electricity as a medicine so powerful? These past decades have seen tremendous advances in three intersecting fields. The brain and our understanding of circuits, electronics and its sensors and miniaturization, and data science. Sixty years ago, the field of electrical medicine started with the pacemaker. Since then, the field has evolved from delivering electricity to the organ, to the heart or to the brain, to delivering electricity to the organ circuit. And that's why we and other innovators across the field are focusing on applications from tremor to inflammation to pain. These are precise therapies made possible by neuroscience, and they hold great promise, including for the patient who inspired this work.